Alright guys and girls, welcome back to another video of mine on my YouTube channel. So I'm Anthony Kenneth Bishop, this is my channel. And today is another carnival video for you. This is part three of the Western Supermare Carnival 2017, which is in Somerset, UK of England, UK, United Kingdom. Um, and in this part of the video number three we've got a lovely little picture here um of a woman sitting in a car at the top here um in this picture uh then we've got some people dressed up i think that looks like looks like a pirates to be honest they look like pirates so if we um actually if we click on image two so we can move this around if we have a look at this zoom in a little bit slowly i'm using obs so you would have to forgive me because i'm still a bit new to obs uh right we've got this young woman young girl um just there sitting in looks like um like a little red car something kind of like noddy and big ears um tv show back in the days uh, which got face paint on there and we have some person driving the car by the looks of it they're driving the float this is the actual float there and it's you can see he's got the hand on the steering wheel oh, let's have a look see if i can zoom in a bit more uh might be a bit pixelated by the way guys and girls so um you have to figure me that on as well because i'm what i'm doing is i'm actually output in the resolution a little bit zooming in so it's going to be pixelated a tiny bit anyway so we've got a bloke sitting there or a woman it could be a woman or a bloke uh, they've got a mask on so i can't see but it looks like it could be a bloke uh, then we have uh three people uh sitting there in the uh the floats itself in the picture that's what i took i took the picture it's good when you Having got it zoomed in, I'm recording this in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So hopefully it gives some good, uh, decent pictures that I've took, uh, taken uh, when it's not actually zoomed in too much. Um, but when it is, you should see this really good um, when it's not zoomed in too much. Let's zoom in so we can get a closer look, see what we can see, but it's going to be a little bit pixelated. I'm recording this picture in like sort of, um, I think it's like 12 pixels, 12 megapixels. And I'm, come on, there we go. Yeah, 12 megapixel camera um, from the Samsung Galaxy S6. So that's like 12 million pixels we got right there. So as you can see, dressed up is um, on the head on the one there. He's got the white stripy black and white sort of clothes there, sitting right at the back. We have them um, with like a sort of like a pirate skull, cross and bones on the head. And we have some woman in the middle, by the looks of it, or could be a bloke. Um, looks like a sort of tiger stripes or something on the head, maybe I don't know. Um, but they've got like sort of a pink and black jacket with like sort of yellow sort of shirt in the middle of the one to the left. And then the middle has got like sort of, sort of, I don't know, animal face paints on them. They've all got face paints on uh, each other and all that. So that's pretty cool. I, I kind of like the, the colour and the detail in this picture though. Um, this was done at night time obviously and the, the lights at night time you've got to watch the focus as well because sometimes this camera on the phone on the samsung galaxy s6 can go way out of focus all right let me zoom back out a second on because i'm using the main sort of thing but yeah this is not too bad for that kind of size of the screen or i should say actually if i um zoom in round about here i would say that is quite adequate oh um Let's go back to here and see if I can resize this. 
I said if I put it to 4 19 20 by 10 80 there we go we should see theoretically a decent sort of picture for you guys and girls but this is this one picture anyway let's go straight to the media source one which is the carnival float so here we go um, so this is float one I believe so if I take off the image and then we will have image two image three actually we'll go to image three in a minute so this was on for about a minute or so this picture by well, this video clip here it's about a minute under 60 seconds or something uh actually i think i recorded the entire lot of this one of this float but as you can see as well when i zoom in the actually picture of it adequately is not as great as you're like zooming in but when you zoom outwards outwards it's a lot better it's more clear because you're not really got all those pixels you're literally deleting because you're making up more pixels as you're zooming in and then when you make up too many pixels that you haven't got on this camera then you start seeing the balance of the pixels pixelating and shit so it's really really bad but this um this is actually a cut a float of um like some Indians riding horses in this one. So we've got some actual, um, I don't know if it's like Native American Indians, um, whatever you want to call it, um, the actual, I don't know if it's Indians, well, it's technically Indians, but I don't know what sort of like creed of them. There we go. There's the, one of the drivers dressed up as a Native Indian, um, <coughs> sort of like the Cowboys and Indian, uh, Indians back in the days. Um, so yeah, uh, there we go. They've got their little sort of tomahawks. They're starting like to move around with their arms and just like moving left and right with them. Um, there was some sort of like native, um, music to go with it as well. Um, but I've actually literally taken out the music due to copyrights, just in case it copyrights my channel. I don't want my channel getting flagged. That's why I'm doing the audio commentary over the top. <laughs> but as you can see, a lot of the colors, um, if you've got photo sensitive epilepsy or anything like that, I wouldn't recommend you guys and girls to view this because of the colors and the lights and all that kind of stuff. The strobe lightning in some of the videos. But yeah, this um this video I like this. I kind of like this. Right, it should stop here in a second. So I'm gonna have to go to image number three in a second. Once this one's done, there we go. All right. So we are all right. Media source. I need to delete that one. Anyway, so what we have here now is image number two. But it's actually counted as image three because I'm using the intro for like the picture for image one and video image two uh, or number one actually for the image. But on here, because I'm using OBS, uh, the 64 bit, I can have more control over the media source and pictures. So this is image three or technically image two. Um, we have here a bloke dressed up as a big girl uh, with a pram. So that's for his sort of thing. This is in Western. So if this guy is a sees this video, let us know in the comments below uh, if you had a good night that night or if anyone came to the carnival in Western Supermare. Let us know in the comments below. As you can see, I'm zooming in on this guy here. Just to show you, fucking show you. As you can see, he's got a, like a little light there by the pram, by the looks of it, the baby's little pram. And then he's got like sort of one of these little girls' wigs on there. It looks like a sort of, um, I don't know if that's like sort of pigtails, blonde pigtails. Um, then there's some guy following him behind. He's got like sort of a, a dog's sort of head, head of a dog. Now, uh, I'm actually using 7.7% .7 of my CPU at the moment because I'm recording 1080p 
60 frames per second um, so which is not too bad because I'm using the i7 6700 and I kind of like this and this is not the Ivy bridge this is um, another um, CPU it's the latest one after the Ivy bridge Right, um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. This is done like night time shot. So there is a lot of light there. So you don't really need much um, of the balancing off the camera. Because you've got the, the focus of the light bouncing with the street lights. So um, you don't need to bunk up your ISO or your ISO. Um, so that's pretty cool. You just get the the light on it lower down your ISO a little bit because you're getting the balance of the light there so that's um, pretty cool right so this is image number three which it says image number three um, so let's go straight in to media source 2 now there we go right as you can see here we have some, I think, I don't know if that's a woman or a bloke driving uh, the car. It's got a face of pirates. There's some pirates here. It's, it looks like something like Pirates of the Caribbean. We've got like a big massive ship there with the sort of the sails. Got some young kids there and some blokes and uh, women there dressed up as pirates with the swords and all of that. Got some bloke there as well. Must be security or something. Uh, the people in the yellow. Or the helpers there and all that. Doing the voluntary. We've got some people there with sh showing the money and all that. Trying to get charity money to help uh, fundraise for the next carnivals. From the next towns or from other towns. Maybe for this town here. Um, I actually have no idea what they actually use the money for. Fundraising. Right let's go to the next one. Which will be image two, three, a bit image four now, guys and girls. But uh, yeah, we're getting through this quite easy. So right in this image, we have something out of Mary Poppins. This time we have the chimney sweepers, the ones uh, doing the chimney sweeping. Um, back in the days, we used to watch Mary Poppins on the TV, which was actually quite cool. Um, I forgot who the bloke was now, what his um, real name was, the one who uh, done the chimney sweeping, uh, what's his name? Um, was it Dick Van Dyke? Uh, Dick Van Dyke, yeah that's it, Dick Van Dyke. And he actually played in that comedy, the one where he had that, um, what's it called? Oh, what was that called, that film? Was it Shipwrecked? When he was shipwrecked on an island. And then he had, all he had was for a friend, was that monkey, remember he had that monkey? And then he had to like uh, come up, and yeah, he had like a parrot or so, or a bird or something. Absolutely amazing film. I'm gonna try and get hold of that at some point because that's a classic film. And also Mary Poppins as well. I think I've got Mary Poppins somewhere. Might have to watch that around Christmas time. Um, but hopefully they do a 4K version of Mary Poppins at some time. But as you can see in this one, for image number oh, hang on, let me go. Image number four. Let me stretch this out a little bit. Right, so it's going to be a little bit pixelated, but this is so we can make it into 1080p. Um, or just a little bit stretched out, because when you start stretching pixels out, it depends to be honest, because with 12 uh, megapixel camera, trust me, you can get a lot of stretching out of oh, that. Oh, don't forget Chichi Chichi Bam Bam. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chichi Chichi -chi -chi Bam Bam, how could you forget? That now, was my favourite. Now, when you start stretching this, guys and girls, with a camera, with a picture, and you start stretching a 12 megapixel, you can get a lot out of it before you start noticing pixelation in the camera. Now, as you can see here, um, it's not in the sharpness. To be honest, I should sharpen the actual image a little bit so it's much sharper. So it just needs a little bit of sharpening down for the picture. And this would be a great picture to sharpen up. Especially if you zoom in. If you zoom in a camera or a picture. And you sharpen up the image a little bit. You'll get better quality. The image will be actually quite substantial. And you can also add a little bit of colour in the background as well. Because this needs a little tiny little bit of colour. Not too much. Just to make it more better. But as you can see. 
I'm moving along this picture here. Uh, got this uh, chimney sweeper with a bit of dirt on their faces to do with where they've been chimney sweeping. And as you can see, you can see a little chimney there where they've been supposed to be doing all the chimney sweeping. Not uh, real, uh, really, but theoretically speaking, back in those times. Um, but also, we've got a woman there with a bit of dirt on her hands and arms uh, and a face there from chimney sweeping. So they have to add their little special effects to make it look really good. And yeah, this image looks actually quite, sh I would say, sharpish. Once um, it is back in form, 1080p form, let's have a look, let's put it, um, oh, no. uh, oh, there we go, hang on, image full, see if I can sharpen this back up, because what I'm trying to do, sorry about this guys and girls, but hopefully, I'm doing a, a spectacular job of this image by showing you about the stuff you can do with this OBS. It's fantastic. This is the best software and it's free and it's virus free as well. So you don't have to worry about viruses in your computer on the official website of OBS, which is open broadcasting software. I'm actually recording this. I'm not live streaming it, but I'm actually recording it via the computer via my i7-6700 my Asus Maximus V8 Micro TX uh, board and I'm just putting the images together like this so alright let's go to so we've done uh, media source 1 we've done number 2 now let's go to media source 3 so we're just going to jump straight to there there we go see how quick um you can actually do this this is just amazing guys and girls so actually what we'll do uh image we'll get rid of that image full and go straight to here so as you can see in this one we have the mel gibson version of braveheart um, it did actually have a little bit of Scottish music in there, like Celtic sort of Scottish music in the background, but not in this video due to copyright, so I don't want to get copyrighted. I don't know who actually, what um, uh, film company actually made this film, actually. I'm going to have to look that up, but um, it looks good. I think this is going to be on for longer than 20 minutes, this one by the looks of it. But um, not this video clip here, but this clip's on for about a minute or so, I believe, because I'm trying to um, shorten down some of the clips, but I'm trying to keep them in about 20 minutes per video, maybe, or just gone 20 minutes. As you can see, I had to change the lightning a little bit uh, on here with my camera, because I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to have too much of the light at the top, because when you zoom in, um, as you can see, if you put too much light, if you put the brightness up too much, you can see the light from the floats at the top, it doesn't look natural. So I was trying to get that little bit of very bar uh, balance to go. Right, so that one's done, that video, and on, now you see a blank screen. Uh, let's put in image number five. There we go. And we get rid of media source three. So as you can see in this one, guys and girls, this time in image five, we have a picture. Because what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to balance between pictures. I think sometimes pictures can actually say a lot about a video that you upload. Um, and you can get a lot out of a picture rather than a video in aspects videos are good but if you have got a good quality camera say a 12 megapixel camera or if you're using your phone and that's got good quality on it depends how you do the picture you could get a lot out of a picture rather than actually filming a video but i like to combine the two so you've got a video and you've got the pictures in there as well so Hopefully this actually video helps a lot guys and girls. So as you can see in this image We have I don't know what the, what you would call that it looks like a wolf 
Maybe a wolf, is it? I don't know, or a crocodile? Could be a wolf or a crocodile or something. Um, oh, actually, I think it's a wolf because they're dressed up as sheep by the looks of it. Sheep in wolf's, uh, or wolf um, dressed up in sheep's clothing. I think that's how the aspect of this is. So well, let's move this around a little bit. And as you can see, As you can see here, sharpened up a little bit. This is actually not too bad, sharpened up like that. But as you can see, the yeah, that it looks like a bloody wolf, like something like. And then you've got like uh, little pigs. There's apparently there's a picture of a pig at the bottom. So pigs and wolf. So this is something like the three little pigs and the wolf. Um, nursery rhymes, I think. I think these are supposed to be like sort of nursery rhyme pictures as you can see there we've got um, a wolf a bloke dressed up in a wolf's hat like something to do with grandma and the wolves and the three little pigs maybe but yeah this looks quite cool I like this image but actually if I zoom down here let's zoom here um, at the bottom of this picture you can see here look at that guys and girls guys and girls we have ourselves a pig right there look at that we've got ourselves a nice pig right so and then I don't know what's that Nun, nuns food nutters I think it was called this one actually this float um, some, I don't know if this was to do with um, and then it had like some of the three little pigs that's what the three there that, that's t-h-r-e supposed to be the three little pigs oh there we go um so hang on let me put this back to normal for you guys and girls so we've got ourselves a nice crispy 1080p hopefully i'm actually doing an extremely good job of this because i'm trying to balance videos and pictures because that way you both all get to see pictures and videos in my uh, video pictures videos but at a decent quality and yeah if you want me to do more videos not like this but uh, well of the actual pictures and videos and put them together when I'm out and about say if I'm going to the pier or something and take some videos but add some pictures amongst them as well um, I might actually use my Nikon Corpix camera as well because I might be able to get a better quality picture with those because it's 12 times optical zoom which is actually fantastic that means I can zoom in without actually um, taking away the pixels right this might take uh, a long time for me to upload because it's actually recording in FOV um, I think it is no MOV um, file format and yeah this looks quite cool I like the image to be honest I could have done um, spiced up the picture a little bit could have um, gave it a sharpen a sharpen it up a little bit um, could have gave it a little tiny bit more color into it as well make it more brighter give it that sort of HDR look or that HDR feel because it's good with cameras like with um, normal cameras you can actually give it a HDR uh, background feeling for it for a picture you could do you can do it with um, videos as well um, but yeah anyway uh, let's go to source media source for for videos the final video clip and actually um oh hang on i think yeah this is not in properly there we go hang on there we go that's better and actually if i uh yeah there we go so in this one we've got some irish um dancing folklore music uh floats in this one um where the floats going along we've got some irish dancers irish drinkers 
uh, Irish float pretty much from Ireland it's pretty cool I like this and uh, this was actually kind of a, a fun float for me to watch actually the music was good the float was good they had like sort of like uh, the bar here and all that on the um, I don't know it's like for this float they had like these like little old houses on the float here and moving side to side and they had like a sort of a lighthouse there as you can see there is a sort of like a little Irish lighthouse with the lights inside that looked quite kind of cool so I only took a picture of that one so let's go back to this one a set for a minute because the other one's done anyway guys and girls I've been doing this for 26 minutes now uh, recording this for 26 minutes it is 428 and it is or oh, 420 yeah 428 and it's the 13th of November now um, that means this is this video is thir uh, three days late because I was going to do some uploading for the last few days but I'm just trying to organize my videos a little bit um, hopefully I've done a good job of this video if you enjoyed this video do give a big like on it I've put extremely a lot of um, video editing into it a lot of work into it and a lot of quite a few hours this has taken me just to organize the little bits and bobs of the images and the video source I would say two to three hours so far and now I've got a video edit it as well and finish it off and then upload it straight to my YouTube so that might take about an hour two hours to upload to my YouTube it depends on the speed of my connection I've got an 89 meg connection to 100 meg but sometimes during peak times it can slow down and really get down really low but anyway guys and girls cheers all for watching have a lovely lovely uh, Monday the 13th of November and love you all but I've got to go now and cheers all for watching and I'll be uploading some more videos this is part three of the carnival for Western Superman 2017 cheers all for watching and stay safe all have a lovely lovely day